how's that? Oh, how's um? How's it gone so far? <laughs> leave from Bali. Um, uh, I don't want to leave. I don't want to go home. How did you imagine the end of the world? This is what the end of the world looks like. Melodrama aside, if your world had been turned upside down, you're not alone. So what did you have planned for 2020? Did you make any New Year's resolutions? Maybe it was to quit smoking, start exercising more, learn a new instrument, learn a new language, or travel to an exotic destination. Matt and Nat travel back and this is our story. Our story begins in Bali, Indonesia, a tropical paradise known for its beauty, warm weather, surf beaches and activities galore. We had planned our trip almost a year ago and we were fortunate enough to enjoy a good majority of it. From jungle swings, fish pedicures, cliff jumping into waterfalls. Hell, we even got engaged. We were living a fantasy, a dream. But even the heaviest of sleepers must wake up. So, how did we get from this to this? Well, we have to go back. This is us arriving at International Airport of Denpasar in Bali. Hey everyone, we just arrived, arrived in Bali, Denpasar, International. Yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day. Check this out. Wow, what is that? I don't know if you can see what this is. It's amazing. It's in the middle of the... Oh, that looks like that Olga Olga. Yeah. Must be getting up pretty close to there. Um, what was it? Uh, Nippy Day. Nippy Day. Um, Nippy Day. That's where the airport is dead. The airport is dead. 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 Yeah. No one here. Except for our flight. Except for our flight. Yeah. Now, I know what you're thinking. This should have been our first warning. But I wasn't going to let a little case of traveller scarcity stop me from doing this. <laughs> And just look at this amazing place. I had this romantic moment planned well before coronavirus was even a whisper. Okay, yes, yes okay. <laughs> Ah, you cry. Yeah. <laughs> and who would have turned down this opportunity? To see beautiful natural landmarks, spend every day swimming, jump off waterfalls, immerse ourselves in the local culture, the customs, try the local cuisine, and even learn how to cook the local cuisine. And then this happened. Now is the time to act. That's why Cabinet met today and agreed that effective immediately, we will move to alert level three nationwide. After 48 hours, the time required to ensure essential services are in place, we will move to level four. 
These decisions will place the most significant restrictions on New Zealanders' movements in modern history. You heard it here first, folks. Auntie Cinder wants us to come home. So what does any self-respecting member of society do when they are faced with an ever-looming fear of worldwide catastrophe? Alright guys, so we got ourselves a Bintang Tower and they come in these cool little ice glasses and check this out. Dip your, dip your glass. We are here at California. Oh good. And this is by far the coolest drink I've ever ordered. Cheers. Hope your Friday night's going the same. We spent our last night in beautiful Ubud, said our goodbyes to an amazing villa called Ladera Villas, probably our favourite villa during our stay. Check them out if you're ever in Ubud. We tried to cram in as much shopping as humanly possible. Bali Galleria, we are heading up to uh, Matahari. Well, in just shopping general. Matahari's. Look, this place. W H Smith. There's like uh, witch witch pools. It's Victoria's Secret. Oh, oh. get some undies. <laughs> Maybe. Look at this place, so cool, garlic bakery over there, nice cool shirts that you can buy over here, it's actually air conditioned in this one, the other one wasn't. This is a proper shopping centre. It's the proper shopping centre, yeah. Lenin, you need to up your game and get one of these. Love these wooden penises over right here. I don't know. God. It's like a little ashtray or something. Just doing a little bit of shopping at, um, where did we go? The Galleria. Bali Galleria. It was a huge um, shopping complex. We are just now inside a little warung and we are having some. Um, Bobby Gooling. Bobby Gooling. Look at that. Mm. Which is. Exactly. Alright, okay. I'm going to try a little bit of this. Mm. Suckling Pig is the name of it. Uh, Bobby Gooling. Mm. Natalie's having trouble with the spice. It's spicy and Try another bite. Okay. I'll take some rice from now. Thanks for filming me, Alright, catch you later. So here we are at um, Discovery Mall. This is Kuta Beach. There is literally nobody here. Oh, okay. It is completely empty. Like we're eating a lot, but we are here at Burger King, Indonesia, and we try some of their food.
So I'm going to try some of these chips that they got here. As you can see, they are a little thicker than usual. They taste like chips from a fish and chip store. They don't taste like um, the the normal French fries that you get back home. My bread. Alright. Might have to get some sauce for those. Alright. Yeah, my phone. And I got a um, double cheeseburger. I don't really see much difference. Um, they do sell a lot more just straight up. Holy sh! Can you show that? So that's just crazy ass. Oh. So, now we're all caught up. Honey, how's that? How's, um, how's it gone so far? <laughs> Leave from Bali. Um, uh, I don't want to leave. I don't want to go home. No, um, so what happened? Check in, check in went well? <laughs> um, I got told because of the virus that, um, that only there was a big lockdown for people who were not residents or not citizens, so I had to prove my, um, status. I guess you'd say, um, to prove how long I'd been living in New Zealand for and that I actually reside in New Zealand because between New Zealand and Australia um, there's an agreement that we can float between countries, we can don't need a, a special visa or anything like that. And um, so, you, so you're able to get home with me? We, we should hope so. So, um, so what actually is happening is that Matt has, I have a boarding pass to get through to Christchurch. Matt has a boarding pass to get to Brisbane. We then have to go to the transit lounge and um, hope that we can get one from there. So, so to all these people that were worried about me returning home, <laughs> he still might not get there. <laughs> Keep you updated. I was probably better off staying here, to be honest. We cancelled our flights, uh, made them, uh, brought our flights forward. So yeah, it was probably better if we just stayed here. Yeah. In the end, though, we should have just waited for the 16 day period and we might have actually had more of a chance of. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we never know, but we'll keep you guys updated. Spoiler alert we both made it back home. After spending what seemed like an eternity on the phone to Immigration New Zealand, I got the boarding pass back home only a few minutes before our plane took off. So that is our story. This pandemic has changed so much in our lives, it's hard to see if things will ever return to normal. But always remember, no matter the struggle, we are all in this together. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you thought it was tight, leave us a like. This ain't no bribe, please subscribe. Hey, hey, what the hell? Ding that bell. Catch you in the next one.